have you back on. What's your reaction to, the, to that report? The vice president has never physically been at the actual border. She was in a, a El Paso miles away. Well, of course not, because this administration is deliberately and intentionally violating federal law at the border. They want all these illegals to come across our border. They don't care about American safety and security. They're allowing it to happen. And Chuck Schumer just last week told you why. He wants to give amnesty to the 11 million, probably closer to 20 million illegals that are presently in our country. He wants to give them amnesty and then give them the ability to become citizens and vote in our elections. This is all political. The only political uh, aspect here is the Democrats allowing illegals to come into our country in violation of our federal laws and then giving them the ability to vote. That is pretty remarkable, that that is the game plan, right? That's what your feeling and your sense is about being there in D.C. and watching this unfold. Schumer said it last week. I mean, they're, they're, they're not even hiding what they're trying to do. Senator Mark Kelly, Democrat, tells The Washington Post that Democrats absolutely do not recognize the problem with the border crisis. And then you have Arizona Governor-elect Katie Hobbs says the, pre the president's not doing enough to stop what's going on at the border and the crisis there. Watch this. On that front, uh, about speaking to the president, do you want him to visit the border? Do you think his administration is doing enough when it comes to the border? Uh, I've said this. Uh, I don't think they're doing enough. I would love to have them visit and see firsthand uh, the kind of uh, support and relief that folks uh, in these communities need from the federal government. You know, Congressman, what's being underreported, we've been tracking this story and trying to get more data. Police around the nation warn that they have to battle drug gangs pouring into U.S. cities, causing crime to ru crimes to rise. Drugs crossing the border are big bucks for drug gangs in U.S. inner cities. That's why there are all those shootings in Chicago. The number one cause of death for uh, adults between the age of 18 and 45 is fentanyl overdoses. We know for a fact that's all coming over the southern border. There's been enough fentanyl seized at the border just in Joe Biden's administration to kill every American times six. That's how big this crisis is on crime and drugs. And then you have the human toll of illegal immigration and sex trafficking and all the other things that come with the drug lords uh, running our border. It's time for it to stop. The American people have elected the Republicans to take the House back. Yeah. And one of the number one priorities of the Judiciary Committee is to hold this administration accountable as it relates so, to immigration. Kevin McCarthy is saying he's going to remove Congressman Eric Swalwell and Adam Schiff from House Intelligence and Ilhan Omar from House Foreign Affairs. Have they, what, have they, have, what have they been focusing on, if, if not the border? Yeah, absolutely. They haven't been paying any attention to the border, and I, and I applaud uh, Kevin McCarthy for stating that. They've removed Republican members from committees for ridiculous reasons, and there's actually legitimate national security concerns as to why Eric Swalwell shouldn't serve on the Intelligence Committee, having had a relationship with a Chinese spy. There is absolutely no reason he should be on the highest Intelligence Committee in Congress, so I applaud Kevin McCarthy for stating that he's going to be removed. And Schiff as well. Absolutely. All right, Congressman Greg Stubbe, thanks for joining us. It's good to have you back on the show. We'll have you back on again soon. And thank you for watching. Thank